Welcome to another video from Finance with Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a sensitivity analysis. And I've set up a pretty simple case here where I've estimated a terminal value based on a free cash flow of 250, a weighted average cost of capital of 12%, and a growth rate of 3%. What we're going to find out now is how sensitive the terminal value is to changes in the cost of capital and to changes in the growth rate. The first thing we need to do is we need to specify the possible changes in the inputs. So uh, I'm going to set up the possible values of the cost of capital as a row here and uh, the possible values of the growth rate as a column. So I'm going to have the cost of capital go from 8% all the way up to, well, let's say 15% and growth rate from 0% up until 5%. And then in the left corner we need to make a reference to the output. Uh, so I'll just type in equals and select the terminal value. And when we've done that just select the entire table or array or whatever and go to data and what if analysis data table and row input cell, that was the weighted average cost of capital. And column input cell, that was the growth rate. So just click OK, and there's your table. So let's say we have a scenario where the growth rate is 4% instead of 3%, and you can clearly see that the value would be 3,125 instead of 2,778. And if you want it to look a little bit better, you can go up to the left corner, uh, select the cell, press Control shift f for formatting, go to Number, uh, Custom, and then type in the semicolon. It'll just hide the reference to the terminal value. 